In this video, I'm going to show you how you can crop the edges of your video or trim the edges of the video using Avidemux. And if you found this video on YouTube, I'll provide a link below uh, so that way you don't have to stop the video if you're a first time user to follow along with the steps. I provide the step by step illustrated instructions for cropping the videos. Now when I say cropping the videos, I'm not talking about trimming off, like if you got a video, trimming off the beginning of the video and the end of the video. I've already made a video on cropping off the video lengthwise. You know, like if you've got an introduction you want to cut off or an end where you left it up and maybe it was talking and cut off. That's another way of cropping. I'm talking about trimming your video. Like the panels up here, remove the panels from your video. So in this video that I'm recording, if I didn't want my top panel and my bottom panel, I could trim those off. So I do have the steps on my website. Like I said, if you found this on video, uh, video on YouTube, you can click on the link below and you can actually follow step by steps. Now I'm going to open up Avidemux. And once you open up Avidemux, choose the file menu, click on open, and open up your video. Now that's a video that I did on Monday when I created the website uh, that I did crop the video and I can show you the results of that because unlike the two videos that I earlier made where you cutting out uh, the, the sections off the end of it, you are not actually re-encoding your video. Now when you crop off the top and the bottom, you will have to re-encode the video. So it will take longer. So I went ahead and had the process completed so that when I hit start I can cancel that out and show you the end results. And that's the video that I'm currently recording. Let me hit open. It goes through and opens up your video file. Now the first thing you want to do once you've opened up your video file, you want to choose your video output. Unlike the ones before we hit copy, here we're going to choose a codec. Now the codecs that I like to use, my preference is MP4 with X264. You can choose another one and it should work the same. I haven't went through all of these, but I like choose the MP4, MPEG4 uh, 264. Now when you've done that, you can click the configure button if you want and go through here and make the changes, but I choose the default with configure. Here's the filters. AVI Demux has a lot of filters. The one we're going to focus on in this video is the crop filter and the SWS resize filter because once you cropped it off, you're going to lose some of your screen resolution uh, if you don't uh, adjust it with the S. WS resize. So let me go ahead and click on crop. Once you click on it, you can double click it. You don't really need to click and then double click. You can just double click for the first time and it will open up. Now if you look in the upper left hand corners, you have your left, right, top, and bottom. You have these little arrows that allows you to move it up. Now this is the left side. If I wanted to trim off something on this video, I could use my up markers and keep moving and as you can see here a green bar appears everything in that green area it's almost like green screen unlike green screen where you put something in place of it this is actually going to be the cropped off area you're not going to see what's in that green area so you can increase by going up you can decrease by going down or you can type a number in there let me put 20 and don't press the return key when you put the number value it immediately changes if I were to press enter that activates the OK and it sets it in your preset markers so if I wanted to override I could put 0 and it automatically goes down to 0 you don't need to press the enter key now I'm not going to do anything with my left or right but the right works the same way when I go up it starts moving over where you can see that it puts a green bar in the location where you want to crop off. In this case I only want to crop off my panel bar at the bottom and at the top. So I'm going to go down until I no longer see that bar. And on my website I went to 23 and I didn't see the bar but if I look right here there's still a little bit of bar exposed because the bar is about the same color as my wallpaper and also the thickness of that red bar usually when you cover over something to compensate for that thickness of the red bar because that's not part of the green bar normally you press the up arrow two more times so where I have like 23 I can go two more times and that may be on your screen resolution and your screen size that you have set for your device. So you may have to press up a few more times or maybe not as many times as me. Now down here at the bottom you do the same thing. You keep pressing the up arrow key unless you know once you've done that before and you want to cut your bars off you can remember your preset values and type those numbers directly in. Now you can see I went down and it moved it down and when I go up it goes up. Now if you look it looks like it's covered up. I think 23 is what I had originally so I'll go up to 25 and that looks like it's completely cut off. So you've got a little bar that you can drag 
if you look here this is the video and as I'm dragging it you can no longer see the panel bars at the top or the bottom as I drag it now you can also hit the play button you got buttons like if it was a player itself so I'm not gonna click the play button I'm gonna hit OK now if you look here this was the original resolution 1920 by 1080 when I cropped it off this new screen resolution is 1920 by 1032 now if you're uploading these videos to YouTube this is not a standard screen resolution for YouTube so when you upload it it may change it to something that you don't like so you can actually go back to your original screen resolution it's going to stretch it out a little bit so if you're cutting off something very thick like let's say that you have a little window maybe the size of this dialog box and you're trying to stretch it out it may look very distorted so you may want to put something around the edges of your video so that it won't distort your video in the center but that's beyond the scope of this video I'm just showing you how to crop off and resize so when you come down you're going to click on the SW or SW scale resizer so you just double click it just like we did crop or you can click one time and then double click and it brings up this resize dialog box now by default it's set to lock the aspect ratio we want to uncheck that because we don't want to lock in 1920 by 1032 see that here's the dimensions 1920 by 1032 that's the new resolution where we cut the tops and bottom of so we're going to unlock the aspect ratio and we want to go back to our standard high definition 1920 by 1080 so you can go here 1920 which is still set we didn't mess anything with the width we didn't cut the left and right hand sides off we just cut the tops and the bottom which adjusts the height so we want to go back from where it says 1032 we want to adjust that where it says 1080 so we can type that in or we can keep pressing the up error but since it's from 32 to 80 I'll be pressing it for a while so it's easier just to highlight what you want to change and put that value in here now you can leave the default settings uh, because this is to compensate for different things so we're right now ready to choose OK and when I do that these are the active filters that I'm applying to my current video so that when I go to re-encode it it's going to crop the video and then when it's finished it will go through and resize the video to back to because if you look here it's going to resize the video from 1920 by 1032 it's going to adjust it back to its original screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 so that when I bring up like the media player uh, info or media info it should look like 1920 by 1080 now there may be a slight distortion because it's going to be smaller stretched out to 1920 by 1080 but since that's a very thin bar and that's a very thin bar it won't be that noticeable so I hit close now here's the thing that you want to do for your audio output you can leave it at copy or since you're going to re-encode it you can choose a different audio since it's re-encoding I just leave it at copy where it copies the original audio but my original video file if you go back into my video folder my original video is at mp4 and by default of Abby Demux it's going it's set at MKV so you can come down here and choose your mp4 to keep your extension the same now you don't really have to come here and change any of that because remember the filter that we chose was to set it at 16 by 9 and we automatically set the 1080 uh, or 1920 by 1080 so you really don't have to change anything under the configure button or you shouldn't now the next thing you want to do is you want to go file and hit save and I'll do that I'll cancel out because it may take several minutes now this was a short video that I made on adjusting your conky if you look remove the title bars from conky widgets which the title bars when the conky comes up it had title bars so here I'm showing you how to remove the panels which is something very similar to this video here uh, it's very short but if you're doing a movie or something you recorded off television and it's 30 minutes or longer uh, it will take longer depending upon the, the amount of time so if I hit save it's going to open up to allow me to save this video file now in the past I where it had edit here I overwrit or I moved that over and I typed in dash crop but I'm gonna leave this and so that it can start the re-encode you can see what it looks like then I'll cancel and then I'll show you the before and after video so I hit save and immediately comes up with the encoding it's going through and re-encoding the your original videos and as you can see here since it's a short video it's giving an approximate time of three minutes now it didn't take that long originally I guess because I'm using simple screen recorder I'm using some of my resources uh, to record this video but right now it says to two minutes left uh, 
I'll, I'll continue to let, let it do it because it's moving pretty quickly. I'm going to go into my videos and while it's re-encoding, uh, re it may make this appear to be choppy, but I'm going to go to my original video and I'll turn the volume down so I'm not competing myself. All right, I'll turn my volume down. As you can see in this video here, you see the title bar at the top and you see the title bar at the bottom. Here's the end result of the video that I record when I did my web page. When I double click onto it, as you can see, there's a small edge up here and there's a small edge at the bottom. What I didn't take into consideration when I was doing the web page was that little red bar. So I included that on my website that when you make sure it disappears, you might want to go one or two more numbers to make sure that it's not showing up. So I will, I'll probably let this video finish a re-encoding since I did do two extra notches and the little panel bar should be gone at the top and the bottom. Now before I click on that one, it's got to finish, let me look at the media info. I right click on the original file and I choose media info. I drag it over here then I right click this one and I say media info and I drag it over here to this side. So here's my original video, the original one. Here is the cropped version. You can see the title here. So if you ever bring up two comparing them, if you can't remember which side since it only says media info, you can look at the file name which is here. So here's the original and here is the cropped version. As you can see here, it's smaller because we cropped off some of the edges. We didn't crop off any of the time, so they're, they're the same. The video stream, it stayed the same. The output stream stayed the same. Now, if I was doing this on my Dolby Digital, if I was cropping it for a movie, since my Dolby, Dolby Digital don't have true surround sound with AAC, I would have to convert that to AC3, and I've already made another video showing how to do that. But as you can see here, here's the part that I wanted to focus on. Your screen resolution, now that's finished. Let me minimize. Your screen resolution is 1920 by 1080. And if we hadn't readjusted this, this would have been 1920 by 10, I think 23 or 32. It would have been something different. But by using the resize, not only did it crop the video, it went through and readjusted the size back to the original 1920 by 1080. And you didn't notice much of a difference. It didn't appear to be distorted. So I'll go back and show, then we'll look at the, the one that's finished. And let me close this one out because it says it's finished. It's done removing the title bars. I'll close it out. So I'm going to take a look at the original one more time for the quality. There's the quality of it. Here's the one that I cropped and then we're going to look at the one that I just cropped while making the video. As you can look, I can fast forward through it. It didn't really mess anything with the quality. It's the same quality. And here's the one that's finished. So let me double click. This is the one we just did. There's still a slight bar, uh, so I went two. You might want to go three or more, and that's something you have to play aware with. The same thing with the green on the bottom here. So when you're adjusting that, and that's something you, like I said, you play around with. It's going to be different depending upon your screen resolution and your screen size. But if I right click, choose Media Info, as you can see here, it's still 1920. By 1080 and it's still the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and that's important if you're uploading your videos to YouTube they actually have a list to where it needs to be like 1920 by 1080 or uh, you know the 720 it, you're keeping it on a certain scale for high definition uh, monitors now if you don't you YouTube will change it convert it for you and it may not look like what you want it to look like so you can use Avidimux to set your screen resolution like I said at the very beginning of the video if this is the first time you're using it I will provide a link below the video where you can look at the steps rather than pausing the video so hopefully if you're looking for something to crop out the edges of your video you'll give Avidimux a try and have a great day.